to clean your gravel in the aquarium, you want to have a basic siphon kit. I prefer one that is a two-piece kit. It's got a two-inch diameter, maybe 12 to 24-inch tube connected to a 5 8 or so three-quarter inch flexible hose, maybe four to eight feet long that goes into a bucket. Uh, you want to get a siphon started, whether you suck on the hose or you use a little pump starter, you want to get the water siphoning from the aquarium into the bucket. And that gravel cleaner is going to free up a lot of the trapped detritus, fecal matter, food, waste, anything that's been accumulating in the gravel bed. And even if the gravel looks clean, trust me, it's got a lot of stuff lurking in it. Now, it doesn't mean that it's really bad for the aquarium. Most of it is being broken down, and as it dissolves, it's being broken down by good bacteria in the aquarium. But eventually, it's going to get to the point where the gravel is going to get so clogged that the water can no longer move through the gravel bed, allowing the bacteria to get the oxygen it needs to be able to break down the waste. So the goal is to remove a lot of the waste from the gravel bed so the water can travel through it, allowing the bacteria access to oxygen, water, and the waste. So every three to four weeks when you do your water change, you want to siphon the gravel bed. I like to remove some of the decorations first, put them in a bucket of hot water, and then siphon the gravel while changing 15 to 25 percent of the water. It's good to clean your filter on the off week when you're not cleaning your gravel so you minimize shock to the aquarium. But you know, just go through the gravel bed, start in one corner and just do like a grid pattern just like you would vacuum a floor so you hit every square inch of the gravel bed and keep an, another eye on the bucket so you don't overflow the bucket. You can dump that water right down your toilet or right into your sink. If there's no gravel in it, it's fine to dump down the drain. And then when you refill the water, just make sure you use dechlorinators. It's good to let the water sit overnight if you can so it degasses. But you can use dechlorinators and make sure that the pH is the same so you minimize the fluctuations in pH, which could be lethal to certain fish or any fish. It's, it's stressful on. So just go the extra distance, make sure the temperature and the pH is matched to the existing water. And, um, and that's it. It's very, very straightforward and it's actually, it's somewhat curiously satisfying to, to gravel clean. I don't know what it is about it, but it's like therapy. So enjoy it. Mm -hmm.